everyone. So my name is May. I'm an alumni of the Civil Engineering class of 2013. And I'm really glad and honored to be here today and to see so many familiar faces. Actually, my first day as a freshman was 10 years ago. And reminiscing on the years that passed make it really hard for me to believe how much I've changed and grown and how fast time flies and how lucky I am to have, been, to have embarked through AUD. I didn't know exactly what I was getting into when I first started university. In fact, I wasn't even sure I wanted to study civil engineering, especially with not that much female support, um, sorry, female representation at the time. So the deal I had done with myself on the first day of uni was that I would take the first semester of, as a civil engineering student, and after that, I would decide if I wanted to transfer to a different major. And spoiler alert, I'm standing here today with a PhD in civil engineering and as a technical manager at the at MMS Architectural Engineering Consultants. Maybe it was AUD as a whole, or maybe it was just the School of Engineering, but something made me feel so welcome and that I was exactly where I needed to be. The environment at the School of Engineering made me feel so proud to be part of the community it prepared me. It prepared me on so many levels. We were exposed to so many different aspects of civil engineering, which makes AUD one of the strongest universities in the region. It, to have such a good university in the middle of the fastest growing city is something we are so lucky to be exposed to. Not only do we have a strong technical and diverse aspect to en engineering, we also learn good technical writing skills, social skills, and public speaking skills. During my time at AUD, I was also the vice president of the first woman in engineering society student chapter at AUD. I hope that the society is still running and active today. After many conversations with most of the faculty of engineering, I finally decided to pursue a master's of degree in civil engineering. I had the full support from all, fa all the faculty. They really pushed me to pursue postgraduate studies and gave me the confidence to believe in myself and aim high. Eventually, I decided to go to Swansea University, home of the finite element method. I was quite excited on my first week there, but it wasn't long before my excitement died and overwhelming feelings began to conquer. With six courses a semester, I thought to myself, I can't do this. I realized that the course was much more mathematical than my background and, and what I had anticipated. So I felt it a at a disadvantage to my peers. I found it quite intimidating that everyone around me knew what the Galerkin method was and I didn't. But then I realized, I know how to, design, to structurally design a building. I know how long it would take to construct and even how much it costs because I did it for my senior design project. I reminded myself that I was there to learn new things. It wasn't long before the courses started to become familiar and my talent of writing three lab reports a week from our time at AUD that came in handy because the workload became a breeze. And I can't tell you how vital learning MATLAB during numerical methods and engineering course was in the course of my master's degree. In fact, we were so well trained at the reports that at Swansea University, my dynamics professor, who later became my PhD supervisor, was so impressed in my first project report that until this day he uses it as a sample submission for other students. After seeing such different sides to civil engineering, I decided to pursue a PhD because I felt I had such a strong background that I wanted to combine my knowledge in structural engineering, which I learned through AUD and the computational mechanics at Swansea University, where I was able to write my own software to model the collapse of high-rise structures subject to extreme wind loads. I want to also add that it's not just the technical support I have had from the School of Engineering, but it's the support I have had every time I wanted to quit. I, I conspired to miss my first flight after my first trip back from, Swan from Swansea because I felt like I couldn't handle the pressure and especially the homesickness. But it was one of the professors here that pushed me to go back and reminded me to just take it a couple of months at a time. There were so many times I also didn't feel confident with my work or that I wasn't having enough progress in my research. But a simple visit to meet the faculty or an unannounced email was all I needed to become inspired again. Just remember that after graduation, office hours don't apply to you anymore. The professors we somehow feared became our, your mentors and your family, and they always welcome with us with open doors. There will be moments of doubt, but what hides behind such moments is what will change your life. I would just like to end a quote from Steve Jobs that's related to my experience starting at AUD and ending at Swansea University. You can't connect the dots looking forward. You can only connect them looking backward. So you have to trust the dots will somehow connect in the future. You have to trust in something. Your gut, your destiny, life, karma, whatever. 
because believing that the dots will connect down the road will give you the confidence to follow your heart, even when it leads you off the well-worn path, and that will make the difference. Thank you.